What is straight dough? Straight dough is a bread making system or method in which all ingredients, dry and liquid, are placed in the mixer and the dough is then mixed to full development. Unlike the sponge and dough system, where a bulk fermentation period is used, this process does not include a fermentation step after mixing. High-speed bakeries use the no-time or straight dough system to produce white pan bread, whole wheat bread, variety bread, hot dog buns, hamburger buns, frozen dough. How did straight dough come about? The concept of no-time or short-time dough process became popular in the 1950s and 1960s when global demand for bread started to increase dramatically. This urged wholesale bakers to become more time efficient and produce more batches of bread per day. How does it work? The goal of the straight dough process is to obtain a high-quality and standardized bread batch in a very short time, three to four hours from scaling through packaging compared to six to eight hours in the sponge and dough system. This helps bakers comply with unexpected customer orders and offer a better service through reduction of lead and cycle times. The following steps delineate the production of pan bread using the straight dough system. The first stage is mixing, in which all ingredients are placed inside the mixer. Then, the dough is placed in the divider. Next comes the makeup stage, where the divided dough is placed inside the rounder and left to rest for intermediate proofing. Then, the dough goes to the panner. After that comes the proofing stage, in which the divided and rounded dough is left to fully proof. Then, finally, there comes the baking stage where the dough makes its way into the oven. In this system, the yeast and dough conditioners quickly modify the rheology of the dough to obtain optimum dough handling properties for makeup and gas retention for target volume during proofing and baking. Objective of straight dough the goal of the straight dough system is to match the finished product quality of bread made with a normal and or long fermentation time. This is accomplished through proper processing and the right formulation. Formulation Here are some formulation considerations for a straight dough system. Dough conditioners Addition of a dough conditioner concentrate, 1-4% to based on flour weight. The mix should contain a fast-acting reducing agent, like L-cysteine, a slow-acting oxidizing agent, for example potassium bromate or ascorbic acid, emulsifiers, to provide softness to dough and extend bread shelf life, and enzymes, like proteases or amylases. Water Addition of extra water, 2-3% more compared to sponge and dough, based on flour weight, to boost yeast and enzyme activity by lowering osmotic pressure and increase dough extensibility for machining. Salt Adjustment of salt and sugar levels may be necessary. To enhance flavor, add 0.1 to 0.3% more salt, based on flour weight. Salt slows down yeast activity, so with a higher salt level, more yeast may also be needed to maintain the same proofing times. Yeast Addition of extra yeast, 1 to 1.5% more compared to sponge and dough, based on flour weight, to optimize gassing and keep proofing times within schedule. Yeast food. In no-time doughs, no additional sugars are needed because there is no fermentation. Higher levels of residual sugars may result in a finished product with a darker crust color. To reduce this effect, use 1 to 2% less sugar based on flour weight. Damaged starch and flour is not relevant in the no-time dough process. Since there is not enough time for enzymes to gradually convert damaged starch into simple sugars, sucrose or liquid sweeteners will provide nutrients for yeast to use during proofing and oven spring. Acids Add acidulants, like vinegar, to quickly reach optimum pH, around 5.5, for yeast activity and performance of mold inhibitors. Mold inhibitors Calcium propionate, also known as CalPro, or other mold inhibitors should be increased given the higher water absorption level. The FDA regulates how much calcium propionate food producers can use, limiting it to 0.3%, which means anything at 0.4% or above is over the limit. Processing Stages 
The following are some processing considerations for straight dough. Mixing. Dough mixing should be long enough to reach proper gluten development, typically 12 to 18 minutes at high speed in a horizontal mixer. To shorten mixing times, it is advisable to delay fat, sugar and salt addition. This helps gluten hydrate and develop quickly, cleanup takes much less time, and provides maximum friction against mixer bowl. Dough temperature. Dough temperature at the end of mixing should be at 82 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit, or 28 to 30 degrees Celsius. This helps to boost yeast activity and slightly decrease elasticity and resistance to deformation for good machining. Pros and cons of using the straight dough process. Some advantages of straight dough include Shorter processing time from scaling to packaging. Space savings from eliminating bulk fermentation equipment, like troughs. Reduction of labor costs associated with bulk fermentation operations. Provides higher yeast survival during freezing. On the other hand, some disadvantages are Higher variable, ingredient, costs as more yeast, water and dough conditioners are added. Poor tolerance of process to schedule changes or line disruptions, dough must be processed immediately after mixing. Usually shorter shelf life of the finished product, compared to a sponge and dough process. Perceptible lack of fermentation flavors and aromas. Want to learn more about the straight dough system? Visit Bakerpedia. Learn more about all things baking by signing up for our newsletter. Until next time, bakers. At Bakerpedia, we're here on a need-to-know basis.